Alright guys, so welcome back to another brand new video. I hope you guys are all doing well. I hope you guys are all hanging in there right now for Bitcoin and crypto overall. But I'm telling you guys this right now. Okay, very, very soon. And of course, there is in fact a fair few, you know, Bitcoin charts that I do want to show you guys, showing you guys that soon enough, especially in 2024, I'm telling you this right now, 2024 is going to be an amazing year for Bitcoin and crypto overall. Okay, the bull run is about to happen. We know the Bitcoin halving event is right around the corner. Okay, that's soon enough going to you know happen very, very soon. We know a Bitcoin spot ETF is in fact about to get approved. Everything right now is looking very, very bullish for Bitcoin and crypto, right? So, of course, for today's video, I want to, you know, give you guys a little update. What is exactly happening with Bitcoin right now? And of course, the entire cryptocurrency market. And there is, in fact, a fair few Bitcoin charts that I do, like I said, want to show you guys. Okay, indicating that we should be very, very excited and bullish right now. Very bullish right now for Bitcoin. So Bitcoin right now sitting at 43,600. It looks like Bitcoin is slowly creeping back up. To forty-four thousand dollars. It looks like, right? You guys can clearly see. Okay, Bitcoin, right? Over a week ago, almost two weeks now, we actually saw Bitcoin. This has been been pretty much two weeks that we actually seen Bitcoin reach over forty-four thousand dollars. But then, of course, I had a you know a small correction back down to the downside at around forty thousand dollars. But you guys can clearly see it looks like Bitcoin is creeping back up. Okay, back up to forty-four k. So it's looking like. Right, it's looking like right now Bitcoin is wanting to reach back up, you know, to forty-four thousand dollars. Okay, and I think that's going to happen very, very soon. And I'm telling you this right now, fifty k is coming for Bitcoin. I've been telling us that many times. If you guys have, in fact, been watching my videos, right, I've been predicting this that we will one hundred percent, one hundred and ten percent. I am so confident that we will in fact see a fifty k Bitcoin very, very soon. Potentially sometime this year in 2023, okay, but we have a couple of days left. It's about to be Christmas and of course the New Year's, right? So potentially, right, early next year, okay, if we don't see a 50k Bitcoin, you know, in the next few days, we're going to see it, okay, sometime next year, early next year in 2024, most likely in maybe January or February, okay? I know a 50k Bitcoin is in fact about to happen. So Bitcoin right now is slowly, you know, creeping back up to $44,000. It's just below it, but it's still holding strong um, for Bitcoin. Now, the entire crypto market today, you know, it's not really moving. Okay, for the past 24 hours, we're not seeing huge movements. But for the past few days, for the past week, seven days, okay, there are in fact a fair few altcoins moving. Look at Solana now sitting at number five. Solana has been absolutely skyrocketing. We know that for the past few months now, Solana has been gaining back its momentum. Right, you guys clearly see for the past week, it's up over twenty-seven percent, twenty-seven point five percent. So it's looking pretty good for Solana. A fair few altcoins, you know, have in fact been pumping as well for the past few days. But for the past twenty-four hours, you know, today, a uh, fair few altcoins are not really moving. Ethereum still holding strong, just below two point three thousand dollars. Okay, so. It's you know, Ethereum is still holding very, very strong. Um, I do see huge potential for Ethereum in the next bull run. Okay, I really, really do, guys. You guys have to understand, it's not just going to be Bitcoin, you know, skyrocketing like crazy. It's also going to be old coins, especially Ethereum. I'm telling you this right now, keep your eye on Ethereum because I really do see at least a 10K, even a 15K Ethereum in the next bull run. Call me crazy, but I think that is possible for Ethereum, right? Huge potential for Ethereum for massive gains. Um, and other altcoins, but yes, Bitcoin, you guys see for the past 24 hours, it's down 1.4%. For the past week, it's up 3%, right? So the global crypto market cap, you guys see, is now at, sitting at 1.65 trillion. So it's over, you know, 1.6 trillion, which is great to see. And overall, the market today is down 1%, okay? So, you know, Bitcoin and other altcoins that are not really moving, but for the past few days, it is slowly moving up to the upside right now. Let's get to these Bitcoin charts. There is, in fact, a fair few charts that I do, in fact, want to show you guys. Starting off with this one, okay. So it looks like, right, there's going to be a lot of uh, a lot more to come in the next, you know, one and a half years for Bitcoin, right? One and a half years, and we can clearly see this chart just clearly shows you guys, okay, the bull run 
Okay, what happened in 2016? What happened in 2020? Okay, and it looks like this is exactly what's going to happen with Bitcoin right now for 2024. This year is in fact about to end, guys. It's about to be Christmas, like I said. Okay, um, and of course the New Year's. So 2024 is going to be an amazing year. We know the Bitcoin halving is obviously around the corner. And every single time we have the Bitcoin halving, this is when the real bull run begins. I will say this, we pretty much are in a bull run, but not just yet, guys. Okay, we haven't seen anything yet. If you guys are in fact excited right now with this Bitcoin pump, just you guys wait. Okay, just you guys wait to see what's going to happen with Bitcoin, you know, in 2024, especially 2025, because it's going to absolutely skyrocket even more. So get ready for that guy. For all my Bitcoin holders out there, get ready for that. Okay, so that's about to happen, right? And you guys can clearly see if we just really zoom out, the fourth cycle is in fact about to happen. Okay, this happens pretty much every four years, guys, right? Every four years, it's the same. We enter a bear market and then we enter a bull market. Okay, and the Bitcoin halving happens every four years, right? We know that. So it's the exact same thing, guys. Okay, history is pretty much repeating itself. And if you guys actually look at this chart, this is where we are right now. It's all up from here. As I told you guys many times, it's literally all ups from here for Bitcoin. We're going to easily see Bitcoin reach back up to its previous all-time highs, which is around 69k, almost 70k, okay? And, it's, you know, it's going to reach 100k, over 100k, you know, 200k is very, very possible, even over 200k, right, for Bitcoin's new all-time high sometime in 2025. Understand that, guys, right? Sometime in 2025, we will, in fact, see Bitcoin reach a new all-time high. Right, so get ready for that. Um, so yes, I love this chart because it just it just clearly shows you guys that every single time we have the halving event for Bitcoin, this is when the bull run begins, right? I will say this: we are pretty much in a pre-bull run. Okay, obviously, okay, the bull run hasn't one hundred percent started just yet. Understand that, guys. But understand the halving is happening, and once the halving happens, guys, then the bull run will begin. Okay, and this chart is showing that yes, the cycle target two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, just like what I told you guys a minute ago. That yes, we will potentially see Bitcoin most likely over two hundred k, and I think that is very very possible for Bitcoin. Okay, a lot of people think right now that it's impossible for for us to see Bitcoin at two hundred k or over two hundred k, but I'm saying is right now it's very very possible. Think about it: trillions of dollars are going to be poured into Bitcoin, not billions, trillions. Right, Bitcoin spot ETFs are going to get approved. People are going to firm it in. Right, new money is going to be coming into Bitcoin. Right, you can just really, you know, think about it. Okay, just think about it. Different cities, countries, different companies, you know, are in fact accepting Bitcoin as payments and whatnot. They're using Bitcoin. So just think about that, guys. The future is looking very, very bright for Bitcoin. And two hundred fifty thousand dollars for Bitcoin sometime in twenty twenty five. I think that is very, very possible. Okay, so that's that. Yes, this chart also shows you guys, okay, this is the last chart that I really want to show you guys, okay, for Bitcoin, but this chart just shows you guys that Bitcoin is following the rhythm, right? It really, really is, okay, from 2012, okay, to where it is right now, it's always reaching a new all-time high, and this is why Bitcoin, in a way, is against, you know, inflation, right? It's a hedge against inflation, guys, right? We know nowadays everything is getting expensive, everything is rising, all right, and people don't know which asset to put their money in to be a hedge against, you know, inflation, to keep up with inflation per se. Bitcoin, okay? This is not financial advice, but personally, I choose Bitcoin, right? That's the asset that I would really, really choose. It's Bitcoin, okay? So over time, you guys can just clearly see Bitcoin is always rising. It's going to continue to rise over the next years, right? Years and years and years. Right for a very very long time, Bitcoin is here to stay forever. It's not going anywhere, right? Ever. So that's that. But yes, this is something very very bullish that I came across, and I really want to show you guys. But this is the number of Bitcoin addresses with at least zero point one or more Bitcoin, and it has reached a new all time high. So it seems like a lot of different Bitcoin addresses, on fact you know, over 0.1 worth of a Bitcoin, which is very, very bullish, right? A lot of Bitcoin addresses. And right now it's reached a new all-time high. So it seems like people are in fact, you know, you know, more people are 
you know, accumulating into Bitcoin right now, which is very bullish, of course, right? It's at a, you know, new all-time high. It's at all-time high right now. You guys can just clearly see that, right? From 2012 to where we are right now. So just think about that, guys. Everyone, okay, new money, like I said, is coming in. Okay, people are going to firm it in and they're going to buy into Bitcoin. Okay, and eventually you're going to have to buy some Bitcoin, right? So just think about that, guys. It's very, very bullish right now for Bitcoin. Okay, it really, really is. So that's very bullish right here. Very, very bullish. But yes, we know 2023 is about to end. We're about to enter 2024, the new years. I told you guys, we should be very excited. For all my Bitcoin holders out there, we should be very excited right now for the next few years. 2024 and of course 2025, right? Going to be some amazing years. We're obviously going to be in a bull market, right? A bull run is in fact about to happen. But you guys can clearly see so far this month, Bitcoin is up over 15%, 15.1%, which is pretty good, right? That is not too bad, right? Um, Bitcoin throughout 2023 has been pretty good, right? I must say 2023 has been a great year for Bitcoin and crypto overall. We saw Bitcoin absolutely skyrocketing, okay? Let me just show you guys on trading view. If we go to the weekly time frame, you guys can just clearly see that, you know, throughout 2023, Bitcoin has been forming this uptrend. Okay, this is all of 2023, and you guys can just clearly see Bitcoin has been forming this uptrend ever since, you know, the beginning of this year in 2023, right? So January, early January 2023, Bitcoin has been skyrocketing, gaining back its, you know, its momentum per se, and you guys can just clearly see it's back up at, you know, over $40,000, $43,000 right now. So it's looking pretty good for Bitcoin, guys, and this year has been pretty good, right, for Bitcoin and crypto. We know 2022 was a terrible year. For Bitcoin and crypto, one of the worst bear markets. Okay, and if you, you know, stuck with it, okay, and you survived, okay, you can survive at anything, guys. Because in my opinion, that was literally one of the worst bear markets in crypto history, right? In Bitcoin history, that was literally one of the worst bear markets ever, right? So that's over. Okay, we survived. We got through it. Okay, we continued to buy. We continued to huddle while everyone else was fearful. We stayed greedy. Again, that would have been a great decision because. Obviously, right, if you bought back down here, you would have been up in profit right now, right? So that's why, guys, you got to buy when everyone else is fearful, right? So that's that. But guys, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Give a thumbs up and, of course, subscribe to the channel if you guys have not yet already. That is much appreciated. And I catch you guys all in my next video. Have a good one, guys.